Now, moving on to other news this hour, the Eurozone has rejected Greece's bailout extension after the Greek government said that it would put any new deal to referendum. Eurozone finance ministers say they will not extend Greece's bailout beyond June 30th. The announcement was made shortly after the Greek prime minister said the country would put the new bailout deal to a referendum on July the 5th. The move, however, requires parliamentary approval. Lawmakers are debating the issue as the June in deadline passes uh, gets close on the current bailout deal looms. Athens is likely to default on its debt. It should repay the International Monetary Fund nearly 1.6 billion euros in debt on June the 30th. The country has said it will be unable to do so unless creditors release the last batch of loans worth 7.2 billion euros. Let's cross over to Athens and Constantine Venezuela's Press TV's correspondent there. Constantine, good to have you with us. Uh, lots of action. Fill us in on what exactly is going on and overall reaction by the people in Greece. Good evening, Margia. I will storm through all the latest. The first part of the Eurogroup meeting in Brussels just ended uh, a short while ago, uh, after which, uh, of course, uh, Jeroen Dijsselbloem, the Eurogroup chief, uh, officially rejected a new uh, Greece's proposal for a temporary uh, two-week uh, bailout extension. Uh, of course, Varoufakis uh, took the podium after uh, Dijsselbloem, and he said that he explained uh, to his Eurozone colleagues why, why Greece could not accept uh, their, their, their proposals. Uh, he also went on to say that refusal of the Eurogroup uh, to endorse requests uh, to extend bailout uh, will damage uh, its credibility, and he made mention that the damage uh, is perhaps permanent. Uh, therefore, Eurogroup meeting will continue without Greece for the first time in its history. 18 uh, Eurozone finance ministers without Varoufakis. Uh, the delegation has walked out of the proceedings entirely. Uh, so, meanwhile, here, literally hell is breaking loose in Parliament uh, as the, the uh, as Tsipras' uh, decision to put the question uh, to Greeks uh, is being debated before a midnight vote to ratify officially, as per the Constitution, all the proceedings relevant uh, to carrying out the referendum. But we, are, we can't help to wonder, though, Marja, uh, if Greece's uh, bailout program expires on Tuesday uh, and there is no deal on the table, does this not affect the very substance uh, of the question of the referendum? Uh, the question of the referendum being, do you accept the proposals? Well, Varoufakis only just uh, rejected them again. Uh, Dijsselbloem only just rejected them for the third time uh, this week. Uh, so basically, there is no deal on the table as far as we're concerned. Uh, therefore, why hold the referendum? So we expect to see perhaps whether there is an issue of rephrasing the question uh, of the referendum arising tonight be before the midnight vote. But it certainly looks as though, uh, unless the ECB, who are holding daily reviews of the Greek situation, uh, take an exigent decision uh, to, to, to help out Greece for a few more days until the referendum uh, decides so tomorrow night or Monday night, uh, then as far as we're concerned, banks will be closed uh, all next week and okay. Greece uh, will be going to vote uh, without any cash. As all right, far as uh, Constantine, concerned. hopefully we're going to talk about this in later uh, bulletins. I'm so sorry, I'm out of time. Uh, Constantine Venezuela's Press TV's correspondent in Athens.